Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jake Motzinger. Today I wanted to talk to you about a lesson I learned in persistence. So a lady came in, she went over to the service department and she wanted to get a part for her little four-door sedan that we have. It's called the IS250. This is an older model. Um, she came over to where I was working and she asked to see a uh, a GX, a GX460, which is basically um, a full-size SUV with a V8 motor in it and you know, full four doors, a hatchback in the back. And anyway, she's, uh, it was a huge, huge difference, you know, between the vehicles. And I just started off asking her, you know, what puts you in the market for this? And she said, I just want to sit up higher off the ground. And, you know, she wasn't interested in our midsize SUVs. And so I did the whole qualification and everything like that. Um, fast forward a little bit. We take a test drive in the GX 460 that I think is going to fit her budget. She tells me that she's looking to spend about $50,000, trade in her little IS. Um, so I, I go ahead with it, right? One thing I didn't do was ask her what kind of a payment she's trying to get to. Um, and I should have asked her that. I mean, that should have been one of my first questions. Um, instead, I stopped at what's your budget. Um, I figured if she knew what her budget was, then she would know her payments, but that doesn't always happen apparently, right? Um, so anyway, uh, the difference, the loan was going to be something like, you know, $35,000 loan, which puts you at about a $700 payment. And um, she had no money down. And so basically it came out to be, you know, like a $700 payment. And in, le in, in, in order to get it down to, let's say, $500, she was going to have to put down like $10,000 or something to make it, you know, into her payment. So her $500 payment goal. Well, anyway, um, it just wasn't working out. And she's like, I don't have that much money. Um, I've, and I was thinking the whole time, there's no way she's going to. And I said, is there a different vehicle I can show you? Can I show you an older model or can I show you um, a different brand altogether? Something that's an SUV, but... You know, she's like, no, no, this is the one I want. I want this GX, you know, and this is the only thing that's going to make me happy. And so I just kept thinking about what can I do. And so what we ended up doing was, one, asking her if her budget is, you know, solid where it is, if it's inflexible at all. And she said, well, I definitely don't have $10,000. So what I said was, how about this? Now, don't shoot me down now. These are my exact words. I said, I have an idea. I'm thinking outside of the box here. So don't shoot me down right away. Just hear me out. Let's look into leasing a new one. So the benefits of leasing are, one, you're only financing a portion of the value of the car. So after three years, you're going to have sort of a, a payment, a payoff for the vehicle. You have the choice. You can either just trade the car back in and, you know, you're free to go. You can, two, uh, trade it up. And you can actually swap out your vehicle for a different one. You can either buy a new one or lease a new one. Or three, you could buy it from us and then do whatever you want with it. You can It'll be yours just like as if you would have purchased it you know, new. Um, you can sell it or whatever you want to do. So three different options there. And But the best thing is, is that your payments now are only going to be on a portion of the vehicle. So they're going to be much lower. And two, if your plan is to pay it off in the end, if you are going to come into some money like you said you would then you can go ahead and lease it for now. And then at the end of the three years, you can make up your mind what you want to do with it. Um, maybe you want to pay it off. Maybe you want to, maybe you liked it enough, but now you want to see the newest technology. You know, three years from now, you're going to have so much new stuff. So these are all different benefits for leasing. What do you think? She said, so you could, you could get to my payments if I leased a new one. And... The only caveat is that at three years, we're just going to have to renegotiate the contract. And I said, yeah, pretty much. She said, let's go see what we can do. So I put her in a new 2019 GX460, which is like, you know, mid 50,000, you know, mid 50s, sometimes can get up to 60,000. Um, and uh, we financed, you know, the we did the leasing and she only had to put $1,000 down. We got her a $600 payment. And she drove away in a new vehicle. So I thought this deal was dead in the water when she, we came back with your, her having to put $10,000 down on top of trading in her vehicle. You know, this was like 
just so far apart. And she was being such a great sport about it. She was just listening. She was just really interested in getting this vehicle and, you know, not putting up like a fight or anything, but just, we were just stuck. And so we persisted. And then of course we had to test drive the new one and, you know, we had to go through the whole process again, but, um, yeah, it was like five hours to get this deal done. But basically in the end, she was super happy with the fact that she got a new one and she, you know, she has these flexible options in the end. And, um, I just learned a big lesson about persistence and not giving up and getting creative and using all your options because, I have been in a position where I have had the mindset like, well, can't do this and I guess you can't have a deal here. You know, and that can really prevent you from making a sale if you just have that mindset that like if this first shot doesn't work, then nothing will work. Well, um, for whatever reason, I had a good attitude that day today and um, I was, uh, you know, just excited to work with her and she was a great, great customer to work with. So um, in the end, we made the sale. Persistence is a key, I guess. That's one of the things I took away. Thanks, guys, for listening. Um, I know it was a long story, but if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe so that you can see my next video and my next uh, lesson that I learned. See ya.